Hello everyone. Today I want to share some great news. This past Sunday, our church approved by a 97% vote to proceed with construction on our building expansion. I praise God for such strong support with this vote and also with your commitment to our Generations campaign. We will have a special groundbreaking ceremony this Sunday following the second service at about 1145, which should only last about 15 minutes or so. If you only attend the first hour, I hope you'll return and join us. Things will then begin to happen rather quickly on the property by the general contractor. This will naturally be a season of flexibility and adjustments for all of us. Throughout this project, we will give you updates related to the progress of construction and the capital campaign. Those periodic updates will primarily come to you through these generation videos as well as announcements on Sunday morning. Please continue to pray that the project moves forward smoothly and stays under budget. This past Sunday, I shared Jesus' parable of the wedding banquet. It seemed odd that the king confronted the one man who was not wearing wedding clothes and was then cast into hell. As we noticed, the man had wedding clothes but chose not to wear them in defiance of the king. It was a sign of rebellion. The other beggars, like him, had wedding clothes on but not this man. What was the big deal about the wedding clothes? The wedding clothes represented the righteousness of Christ. That man stood before the king in his own righteousness, like that of the Pharisees, his primary audience. We cannot enter the kingdom of heaven in our own righteousness, but only through the righteousness of Christ. Paul says in Romans 13, 14, to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then in Ephesians 4, 24, he says, put on the new man, the one created according to God's likeness in righteousness and purity. I'm so grateful that when I stand before him one day, God will not see my unrighteousness, but the righteousness of Christ. And I pray the same for you. God bless you.